welcome back to the channel my name is Ben and today I have some exciting news for you with regards to iOS 14 as you can see here on my iPhone 6s here iOS 14 beta 2 and this is the developer beta 2 is out to developer beta testers so if you are a developer beta tester and you have a supported device you can easily download this update from the air and it's supported from the iPhone 6s SE all the way to the iPhone 11 Pro Max so usually when Apple releases beta 2 of any software that means that the public beta version of iOS 14 is actually going to follow suit so give it about a day or two and if you are a public beta tester keep refreshing your update page and you might receive iOS 14 public beta version 1 or version 2 depending on the version that Apple decides to release so on my iPhone 6s here one of the main disappointments that I've had with this device is that it doesn't have backed up when it comes to iOS 14 so I don't have that added feature or accessibility of being able to enjoy backed up so I'm going to update to iOS 14 develop better too and hopefully with this update comes back tap and also stability and new features but as you know with public beta 1 when I updated my device there was a lot of issues with uh, the update taking up so much storage and also so many bugs so this is the condition of my iPhone 6s before the update so here is the home page and going into settings and going to the software update here you can see that we have iOS 14 developer beta 2 update and if we go back to see the condition of this device before updating to developer beta 2 I'm actually on iOS 14 and this is developer beta 1 that I got when it was initially released on the 22nd of June and you can see that the software version that I have here is 18A530 one v now this beta one update that i had on my iphone 6s as you can see had a v at the end and according to stability standards that is very low and it came with so many issues and bugs and also my phone was experiencing quite a number of issues which i made a video about if you want to see one of them i will leave a link in the description of this video somewhere here and make sure you check it out and if we look at the modem firmware that i have here on beta 1 before updating to beta 2 I have 7.51 Point zero zero. So that is the modem firmware and this basically controls Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and cell connections and also airdrop and all wireless connections. And also if we go back to check the storage that I have available on this iPhone before updating to beta 2, we can see that you know if we go all the way down, systems is taking 6.75 gig and that is iOS 14 developer beta 1 and the storage that I have have available on this iPhone if we go to the about section you can see that I have about 53.08 gigs so I'm going to update this device and we'll see if it takes again over 10 gigs to update to the developer beta 2 and also before I update let me just make sure I know my battery health maximum capacity as you can see there my battery health maximum capacity is 80% so let's quickly update this device to iOS 14 and this is the developer beta 2 that we have here and then I'll show you all the major features and changes and also how this update affects my iPhone 6s here so let me quickly update and then I'll show you how this update is so our device is now updated to iOS 14 and this is the developer beta 2 as you can see here when the device put it on all my offloaded applications started being downloaded I didn't select that option but it just happened on its own so I had previously reset this iPhone 6s on developer beta 1 so that I can see how it functions but after updating to developer beta 2 you can see that most of my offloaded applications are being downloaded back to the iPhone so 
perhaps that's a bug that came with this update and i'm not sure why this is happening but anyways this is how my device looks after updating to ios 14 and this is developer beta 2 so as these applications download in the background let's see what has changed with this update if we go into settings and then go to general and go to the about section there you can see that the software version that we have here is ios 14 and the build number or version that comes with that is 18a 5319i now we have an i at the end and that is slightly better than the v that we had with beta 1 but again that is also very low in terms of stability because a usually represents the highest stability and the higher you go in the alphabetical order the less stable that build is so i is very low on the scale and although it's better than the v that we had on beta 1 i do not recommend that you update or put this ios 14 developer beta 2 or even the public beta 2 when it comes out on your main device this is my backup device and i do expect it to be a bit better than the v but also have some issues and bugs with it so if we go down and see the modem firmware that we have here you can see that the modem firmware has changed we have 7.70.00 now before that we had 7.51.00 so that is quite a big jump and it's a significant one and hopefully what this means is that most of the issues that i had although i didn't have any actually when it comes to cell wi-fi bluetooth airdrop and any wireless connections will be resolved with this update so that is good modem firmware has changed and also software version build number has changed here and let's go back to see the battery percentage that i have with this update if we go back and go to the battery here and go to battery health you can see that my battery health maximum capacity has remained at 80 percent so that is good it hasn't changed in a while and then let's see how much storage or how much space this update took so if we go to the general and then go to iphone storage we can see that you know if we scroll down system is now taking up 10.4 gig that is so much now before system was taking up 6.75 gigs so you can see that you know it went way up it's like this update took over 3 gigs in on top of what we had with beta 1 and that is not supposed to happen because beta 2 came in for me at around 667 megabytes so that is quite a big bug that came with this update and yeah watch out for this when you update your device make sure you have enough storage when you update and also make sure that you have enough charge of course or connect your phone to the charger and just going to the about section you can see that you know the storage that that we have available now is 50 gigs before that we had about 53 gigs so this update despite being 667 megabytes it took over 3 gigs to update so that's a bug that came with this update so just watch out for that and as you can see most of my apps that were offloaded when I reset the device have returned besides the calendar now speaking of the calendar as you can see there you can see that the first change that we have here is with the calendar app so as you can see today is Tuesday 7 July and as you can see the Tuesday is abbreviated instead of writing the whole Tuesday on top there you now have of it as TUE and also as you can see the 7 or the date of today is thicker and as you can see before this is what we had on um, before with beta 1 so I took a screenshot before I updated and as you can see with beta 1 let me just zoom in for you so that you can see that we had the Tuesday and the 7 was slightly slimmer and what we have here you can see that it's a bit um, bold and also abbreviated and also something else that came with this update i didn't notice with beta one it was actually there um, i have a new section in settings and it says tv provider now this device is actually unlocked and i use it with any sim as i please so i don't know why this section here is uh, in so we have tv provider and we have two um, network providers uh, tell us and v media so that's a new thing that i just realized with ios 14 beta 2 i didn't notice it with beta 1 so 
just keep an eye on that when you update your device let's look at the widgets here now we have quite um, a number of new widgets that came with here so if we were to edit the widgets page here let's just click on widgets and then say edit home screen you can see that you know we can add a new widget and as you can see here we have a new type of widget which is the files widget so this is new and it's a widget that came with this update which is beta 2 and you can see that you know you have a medium and sort of a mega large widget and if we add the medium one you can see that you know it comes there and yeah you can always drag and drop it wherever you want to take it on the home screen or wherever you want to place it and also with the widgets since we are talking about the widgets I noticed something else that um, if we were to select a certain widget uh, let's say for example uh, this percentage here and say edit home screen and add widget you can see that you know depending on the widget you want to add let's say this purple podcast uh, widget you can see that this bottom add widget now it takes the color of the widget before this add widget section will just sort of be plain and blue and so yeah that's something new that i noticed when it comes to the widgets on ios 14 and let's go back to the home page and let me show you something else that came with this update as you can see here the clock application that we have there is a bit bigger um i think it's just the arms that got bigger and as you can see you are able to actually tell the time before it was very hard because those arms were quite slim and now those arms look a bit bold and are more visible and it's easier to tell time another thing that i noticed with this update if you use apple music app you now have like haptic feedback so i actually don't use uh, apple music but if you do you have that haptic feedback and it's good as when you tap a screen you can feel that haptic return also something that came with this update is improved siri suggestions so as you can see whenever you go to this search panel and you go there by just pulling down on your screen or by going to this um, section here and what you do basically you can search for whatever you want whatever application or function and Siri suggestion basically gives you a suggestion according to your search or history or your favorites and you can sort of reply to that by long pressing and then you can dislike that function and then that Siri suggestion will be removed and for future sake that suggestion won't come so it's like some sort of way of telling Siri what you like and what to suggest for you so that's just something small that I noticed and yeah that's mainly most of the new features that came with this update now now let's see if um, back tap came with this update for the iPhone so if we go into settings and then go to accessibility and then go to touch and go all the way down you can see that unfortunately back tap is not there so I did search into these settings in and out and unfortunately back tap is not there we have shake to undo but as you can see the option for back tap is not there it's usually somewhere between vibration and co-routing so it did not come and unfortunately for my iPhone 6s I'll keep testing it for other devices to see if backtap comes with this uh, iOS 14 beta 2 update isn't available at the moment so that's something bad and if we go to settings by the way and go to the phone section here I currently don't have a sim card in this device so I can't be able to access that but there's a new option in there that uh, allows you to customize the way yeah, the UI appears when you receive a call on the phone so you can make it a banner or you can change it according to your preference and yeah that's something new that came with this update so for me so far on my iPhone 6s here I I haven't been able to tell much when it comes to battery performance but so far it seems to be okay I can't tell that my battery is dropping drastically it's still on 91 since I did the update by the way it's a small update but it takes like an hour to update that's how long it took for my iPhone 6s I was actually a bit worried I thought my device would get stuck in the boot loop but it didn't so yeah when it comes to battery performance give me a 
two days or three days and then i'll be able to update you when it comes to how my iphone 6s performs with this beta 2 software so at the moment i'm actually running geekbench scores so this is the geekbench scores that i'm running so i did run these scores on beta 1 and yeah let me just run them on beta 2 and then i'll share the scores with you and we'll see if beta 2 is better than beta 1 so yeah um, let me just run these scores and then i'll give you the scores that i get okay so our geekbench scores just completed and for cpu let's see the scores that i have with beta 2 this is ios 14 developer beta 2 for single core i have 551 and for multi-core i have 1038 so if we look at uh, the scores that i had on beta 1 for single core i had 556 and for multi-core i had 1029 so very close and you hardly can tell anything when it comes to cpu performance it's basically the same as beta 1 and if we look at the compute or gpu graphics performance for beta 2 i have 2587 and for beta 1 i had 25 zero eight so as you can see it's slightly better and that will mean better 3d image renderings and graphic rendering so it's a bit better when it comes to graphics but performance wise it's more or less the same when it comes to ios 14 beta 1 so don't expect a big jump if you are coming from the developer beta 1 going to the developer beta 2 as you can see the scores are more or less the same so that's about it for me i'm a bit disappointed that there's no back tap and there's as you can see it takes up more storage than it's supposed to but i wouldn't mind if it means having a more stable and more reliable ios 14 beta version so that's about it for me when it comes to ios 14 i'm currently working on a mac os video behind me so if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next upload Peace.